Hello, today I'm going to show you how to change the cabin air filter on your 2016 through 2020 Kia Sorento. Changing the cabin air filter is routine maintenance for your vehicle and should be done about every two years or about every 15,000 to 30,000 miles. The dealership quoted me $65 to do this, which is crazy because it took me about two minutes to do and the filter I bought on Amazon for less than $15. So it is definitely not worth paying somebody to do this when you can do it very easily yourself and I will show you how. The first thing you'll need to do is come to the glove box, open it up, and pull out whatever junk you have and put it aside. Inside the glove box on each side there's two screws that you'll need to undo to open the glove box. Turn each one counterclockwise and they'll come right out. This will give you a little bit of room to work with and it's enough for me if you think that you need more room if you've got big arms you can pull off this pin here and get even more room but i'm going to try to squeeze in inside you'll see the cover to the air filter there's two clips on each side reach in with both hands push on each clip and the cover will come out i'll show you out here where there's more room there's a clip on the left and on the right that you squeeze and pull out then you'll see the air filter. Remember which direction you pull it out in because the new one will have to go in the same direction. Pull it out, you can see that this is a very dirty air filter and needs to be replaced. There's the new one. Compare them, make sure they're the exact same size before putting the new one in. This looks good, so now I'm going to put the new cabin air filter in. I'm going to slide it in with the airflow direction pointing down. Push it in. It goes in a little bit further than you think because it's got to make room for the cover. So push it all the way back and then bring the cabin air filter cover in, slide it in, and then squeeze each side on each of those tabs to lock the filter in place or the filter cover in place. We're good, now let's put those screws back in. So you put each one in, find the hole that it goes into and turn clockwise. This side is a little tricky because you can't really see it very well. You gotta feel it. Um, it's pretty easy, but it, I make it look hard. There we go, that one's in, and now the right side is much easier because you can see what you're doing. Maybe start with the right side so you get a better feel for it. And that's it, put your junk back in, close up the glove box, and you are done. I can't believe the dealership wanted $65 for that. You can do this yourself pretty easily and pretty cheaply. There is a link in the description for the filter that I bought. Let me know if you end up trying this yourself and how it went.